You're listening to episode 847 of the Father Bills Podcast. Welcome back. In this episode, I am giving a homily extemporaneously. In other words, I'm not behind the ambo and I'm not reading my notes or my, my text. Uh, but most importantly, which this is where a podcast doesn't quite always do the best, and that is I had a prop. Actually, I had two props, and you'll hear about them. They're very small, and that's actually, well, it's often not ideal. But in this case, it turned out to be funny. And so that's why I went ahead and went forward, forward with it. One is a steamroller, and one is a backhoe. So if you don't know what those are, you can look those up. But those are things that I had our altar servers come forward and show me. And at one point, when the server brings it forward, he kind of dances as if he's playing with it, uh, just kind of hamming it up uh, along with me. So, this is the episode entitled, Get Off Your Steamrollers, given on the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time, 2022. Well, good morning. Have you ever gone on to the internet and got on like a social forum and expressed your opinion? <laughs> sounds like that. Sounds like a yes for a lot of you. And when you did, do you express your Christian faith? And when you did, did you express your Catholic Christian convictions? And how did that go? Right. I can recall a time when I was on a forum and as it devolved, I was accused of being a person of faith and therefore should have no say in this conversation. It had something to do with public policy, so it had a, a, a politic involved in it. And therefore, the person said, you should not be able to vote either because you're going to impose your belief on me. I'm like, huh, aren't you now imposing your belief on my, uh, my imposing your belief on you? Do you see this? We as, a, this is the beauty of our country, right? That we all come to a social communion and we speak about the beliefs that we have and we share them for the greater good. What's the other option? Dictatorship, right? Okay. So, but think about this. We're not called to be wimps in the faith. In fact, take a look at what happened to Jeremiah. He spoke his faith. Where did that get him? Right? He was put into a pit. How about Jesus? He spoke the truth. And where did that get him? A cross. But while that's the short term, I am so thankful for the prophet, and of course, most of all, for Jesus, because his suffering, death, and resurrection conquered sin and death and opened up the gates of life eternal. Praise God. See, then they were persecuted. So how do we then, as Catholic Christians, proclaim the faith in our culture in a compelling, without compromising way? Well, first of all, number one, we need to realize that not everybody will agree with us. There are people who will come not just against us, but want to persecute you and destroy you. Go to other countries. Literally, people are being martyred still. But the other one is, don't be a steamroller. Don't be a steamroller. Like, what? Well, what do, I, what do I mean? So, I'd like to offer you an image, and I was thinking about renting a steamroller. <laughs> but my archdiocesan salary wouldn't allow it. You know, the insurance is crazy. We couldn't get through this. So I decided to buy a steamroller. Could I, can I can you bring my steamroller? I bought a steamroller. There it is. There it is. Okay, excellent. You stay right there. Here's my steamroller. Right? Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. It's kind of small. But what do steamrollers do? They roll over things. They roll over things. That's right. And they're unapologetic as they do. They flatten, they crush, they... Yeah, and just hold on to that. Come on over here so we can still see the in the light of this thing. And it's not very maneuverable. It's heavy. Right? Very good. That's right. Yeah. 
We're not to be a steamroller in our conversations. This not only happens in religion, it happens in politics, and even in sports. Uh, I'm a Beaver fan, but I want you to know I'm wearing duck colors today. (laughs) I have much more to say, but I won't do that here. But this is the deal. It's weird in sports. We are really rabid about our sports teams. And sometimes at the, what used to be called the Civil War, there were fights. In California, for like intramural and high school sports, the parents can say nothing. Why? Because they've gone overboard. They want to steamroll over those kids in the sports field. Oh my gosh, we've gone nuts. Happens in politics, but today, this is a problem if we are to proclaim the gospel. What's the other option if we're not going to be a steamroller? Ah, I knew you were wondering. So I thought I would rent a backhoe but Dave wouldn't give it to me, so I couldn't do it. Father Dave. So I, I decided to buy a backhoe. Can I have my backhoe? <laughs> Careful, it's very fragile. Not. There we go, wonderful. Look at this backhoe. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that cool? He goes, vroom, 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 right now. What's that? It is a toy, that's true. <laughs> it is a toy. That's all I can afford. (laughs) But I want you to know, a backhoe is very versatile. It's got a little scoopy thing in the back called an excavator and a loader in the front, you know. Just can pull into that so we can see it. But I thought this would be a great analogy. Could we be more like a backhoe that is versatile? That in construction sites, they just, they're not solo artists. They work together. In fact, have you ever seen a backhoe that's nice and clean? No. They're always dirty, and they have dents, and they're, they're, right. But that's us. We come to the dialogues, and this is what we should lead with, is that I'm a sinner, that I've got my stuff. I've got dirt, and I'd be willing to share that dirt so that we are on the same level plane. You know what a backhoe does? It can level dirt. We should then try to level ourselves with others so that we can start with some common ground. Though it's hard. Because I'm tempted to be a steamroller. I'm so right. But with my righteousness, I could steamroll somebody over. And now it doesn't matter that I was right. For it is more important to be loving than right. Hmm? It's more important to be charitable when speaking the truth. In fact, that's key. So coming in humility is part of that number one thing to be a backhoe. But also, sometimes we need to go deep. A backhoe has the excavator side of it. It can dig deep. But we can do that with others. If they're like a backhoe, two backhoes make a bigger space, right? They can both go deep. And on occasions when you're stuck, like Jeremiah got stuck, you know, a backhoe can get you out. It's pretty pretty amazing. You ever seen videos? The excavators that are kind of, that's the half of the backhoe, can get themselves on almost almost out of everything. We're here then to express the faith without compromising our faith and the teachings while being flexible and listening. In the dialogues, we're tempted, as a steamroller might be, to call each other names and to play the blame game and to take things personal and to, and to make all these discussions personal. We've got to stay focused on this stuff and love the person Above all, for when we have failed to love, we have failed, period. A steamroller wants to win no matter what. A backhoe is like, let's work this together. So this is the question. Who am I? I've been a steamroller, and it never worked. I'm called to be like a backhoe. And I think you two might be as well. So think about that when you get into your next discussion. Be it sports, (laughs) politics, and especially our faith. Because the difference, if we do this right, for a a thousand years from now, could mean salvation for someone. And you could have been that person that planted the seed. See, a a backhoe can help plant seeds. A steamroller will steamroll over the ground, and you can't plant seeds. It doesn't work. So, be a backhoe and not a steamroller. And if you're going to be a steamroller... 
get off your steamroller, please. Thank you again for listening to this episode of the Father Bills Podcast. If you have any questions or comments, as always, I invite you to go to my website, fatherbill.org, and there you can, it's F-R-B-I-L-L dot org, and you can uh, go uh, check out other podcasts, you can email me, uh, you can do other things. You can also go to our parish website at Holy Trinity, which is h-t dot org, and there you can get a link to the YouTube version of the entire Mass that you can watch and listen to. And uh, yeah, we'll do that. In the meantime, may God bless you and have a great week. Bye-bye.